Ah, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. How are y'all doing? I'm Doc Skinner, and this is Dr. J. <laughs> oh, that, that, Dr. J. Point, Dr. I'm, I'm pointing at him. <laughs> and then our, over here, we've got... Hey, Goofon, Rich Giordano. Yes. And uh, you're watching Third Phase UFO Report on our new uh, YouTube channel, correct? Yes. And what we're going to do tonight is we're going to kind of just delve a little deeper into two videos that had been sent to us at Third Phase of the Moon. One that we did a, a story on, what would you guys say this was, about two weeks, three weeks yeah. ago? Something three like weeks. that? Yeah. In the past month, yeah. Yeah. And so you know, um, we are researchers. We are not experts. We never claim to be. We just have a passion for what we do. Or, or Rich, do you? Do you, do you, do you claim you are? <laughs> No, I'm a oh. balloon expert. That's it. A balloon expert. Okay. <laughs> he makes he makes great little, you know, ponies and dogs and that too. Yeah. Um so we'll, we'll get a video and it's pretty spectacular. And uh we'll be like let's get this out there. And then we'll, we'll we'll post the video and uh we'll watch it again and for some reason on a bigger tv it just looks different and things click into place and then we all call each other at like two in the morning going oh did you guys just catch that so um so we're going to talk about one of these instances um we had that came from norway i'm not gonna i'm not gonna you know say the guy's name or anything but it came from norway and I'm going to bring it up on uh, into the into the mix here. Let's see. Boom. There we go. Okay. So now you should still be able to see all three of us, and then the main screen. Um, and this is the video. So I want to play it back and get, get our impressions, and then our impressions of it now. So here we go. It's way up there in the sky, so it must, it's, you know, first thought, UFO. Very uniform. Very uniform. Too uniform. What does that mean? Too in line. If something was dropping flares, for instance, a plane, you wouldn't expect something to be that uniform. And and in control. Yes. That's true. All right, all right, that, that's the boys. But let's hear what we thought then, okay? <laughs> best part right okay fleet's a good word for a large number of, of dots <laughs> I think I think Brent nailed it subconsciously without even realizing it did you hear what he just said it was beautifully said actually uh i was thinking the same thing Re rephrase say it again say it again what he said well he's like you can see here how they're coming down as if on a road or some sort of uh pathway like, follow me yeah yeah pathway good word yeah well um <laughs> I, I do want to give a little taste of your guys thoughts though Unfortunately, I can't hear them, but okay. Oh, that's probably better. <laughs> I can't hear them either. Yeah. You realize that we can't hear anybody. Oh, you talking. can't hear it? No, oh, okay. I thought you were joking. Yeah. Oh, no, no. I'm I was actually... just going along with it. Oh, no, I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my okay. God. All right. So we're not going to drag it on, but we all gave our, our two cents on this and we were all um, pretty uh, amazed at what we were seeing because it wasn't something we normally see until we watched the finished show product on our big screen TV and went, ah. Oh. So folks, we're gonna clear the air up because we, we wanna be straightforward with our audience. We don't ever want you to think that we're trying to pull one over on you. Um, but this one, this one kinda got through the cracks because we got a little excited. But if you watch this video, let me mute this. <laughs> Dr. J, you're the you're you're awesome. <laughs> looking back, <laughs> looking back at it and watching it, you're like, oh. <laughs> um, all right, so folks, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you what you're seeing. 
you are seeing somebody, yes, they had the camera uh, in the trees down and then they raised it up, okay? But what you're seeing, and this is gonna freak, you know, upset some people, you are seeing a, a road right here that comes around a bend. And if you all notice, the lights are in two by twos. Those are the headlights. And we can't see it because it's dark. But if you look closely, if you got a good screen, you can see even the, the changing in the gray color, which you think are clouds. They're the bushes along the sides. If you put it through a contrast, you could probably make it pop out more, but I didn't have time to do that. And um, so yeah, someone's filming probably in their car window, um, the reflection of the lights behind them of cars coming home, probably at five o'clock traffic and their flashing is from passing in front of the bushes along the road so boom, mystery solved um is it and, though oh yeah let's see the, the rest of the video because if obviously if it's a reflection <laughs> that would be it the question is is it even a reflection first of all How okay we... all right well let's let's go back to the very beginning where it starts from the lower right here yeah so we see the whole thing because if it's shot from inside a car that's already a problem I don't see any bushes though. I see the tops of trees. Okay. See? Well, what I'm saying is, oh, shoot, I had it and then I went away from it. Um, well, I don't mean to be nitpicky, but uh, no, I just no, want no, to no. make sure because. No, I, what I've done is, is I, <laughs> I guess I have a really good screen and it's outlining and you can see, you know, the bushes. It's not, mm -hmm. it's not cloudy. It's, I mean, you can see even if you pay attention to the lights, I'll make it full screen. Pay attention to the lights as they blink in and out. And you can, some of them, you can see like the branches of the bushes, okay? So, uh. Wait, so you're me... saying this isn't a reflection? This is actually in the sky? No, 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 no. No, this is a reflection. But what's making the lights flicker in the reflection is the lights going past these bushes on the side of the road. Huh. Does that make sense? I, I understand that, but I'm okay. <laughs> I'm trying to play devil's advocate for the for the audience. I believe right, it's right. cars, but I don't understand how is it in the window, but it looks so high up. Where's the car next to the road? Hold on, I'm um, bringing it right to the beginning. That's my one question. That's all. That's I okay. No, 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 no. That's that's a great question. So here are the trees. Okay. Now, think about this. If you were in a car. Um, that had, uh, let's say a convertible, and you're in the front seat, mm -hmm. you've got a very large sh shield of glass, and it's at an angle. So the cars behind you are gonna, because you know how reflections bend, whatever, it would it would be higher. Does that make sense? I, uh, yeah, because the, the glass would be higher? Yeah, because it's tilted, you know? Angle. Like at that angle. Are you talking a convertible or a moonroof? Uh, no, like a convertible. Okay. As, a as a suggestion. So where? Oh, so you're saying when they're opening it or closing it, they're stopping it when it's halfway or something? Well, let's say, you're, let's say you're, you're in a, something like a convertible. All right. Yeah. We're just we're, we're being uh, speculative here. You sit you sit in the car. Your windshield's right here. You lay the seat back a little bit. You aim the camera up at that windshield, making sure you don't get the rim. And you've got a road behind you coming around the bend. Oh, and, and it's at night. Do you see wow. what I'm saying? Behind you. Good job. Yeah. So I didn't explain that. I didn't explain it very well. I guess no, I'm I like the, no, I'm really happy that you did what you just did. That That's great. So, uh, you know, some guys are sitting that, there at 420 right before everybody's getting off work and they're just mm -hmm. laying back chilling like, dude. <laughs> Looks like they're way up in the clouds. Get your phone, man. This is the uniformity. Your look totally looks like headlights. You know, and yeah. the example you made absolutely of the reflection. I personally still can't see the reflection. Now, not to say that it's not a reflection, not to say those are not cars. It very well could be. I just still can't see where the reflection is coming from. I, 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 oh, hold on. I hold on. I just realized I forgot I, I could do this. Playback speed. Mm -hmm. Let me slow it down. Okay. And watch the roundness of each of these lights as they're flashing, and you will see like a little sliver of shadow because that's like a branch. Oh okay. yeah. Okay. All right. So let me do that. Let me go back here. Just watch the headlights. Um, like right around here is where I've been seeing the bush. All right. Bushes, okay. Uh, play. There we go. 
Right there. Yeah, what the way they're blinking. I, that's their passing by. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Huh. Yeah, and it passes by the left one first. The second is the right, or the other way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Each place where one flashes, the next one will flash because it's going in front of that bush or, yeah. or, or uh, foliage. So, we... Mm -hmm. Never claim to be experts, we're human beings, and we get excited about stuff too, but we wanted to point this out that... Uh, it's like it, a 101. <laughs> in, yeah. in Oslo, Norway or wherever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah, see, okay, so imagine you're you're in the front seat mm -hmm. in this parking lot, because you can tell down in the bottom the, the parking lot, lot lamps, lights or whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they probably just got out of work. <laughs> sitting back for a smoke and they're looking back at their windshield you know or if they have a really wide windshield i mean uh that could be seen through the back window which is giving it that extra layer to take away the definition and so you're just seeing the headlamps um but you'd have to make sure that the camera was set up just enough so you didn't see the framing of the the, the windshield or or the rearview mirror so or mm. No, no, that's the last door. Oh. That, was, that was the last one. Sorry, didn't mean false to tease you. Where did my a, camera it a, go? It was a false door. You turned um, it off. You, 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 I told you not to touch the red button. <laughs> yeah. yeah, nothing's touched. It's the same thing that happened when I was with Rich's show. That's so weird. Okay, yeah. that's all right. John, come on. We know you're doing it to smoke. <laughs> <laughs> I should, right? Yeah, you are. So, um, so anyway, we we <laughs> wanted to just get that across. Um, the next thing we want to talk about is uh, uh, an episode or video we did maybe two nights ago. And let me pull that up here. Oh, and this yeah, one is, done. this one's pretty cool. So for the folks that haven't seen, I'm going to play this here. This is from Third Phase of Moon. I heard the lighter. <laughs> See that? Look at that well, big line. Capacity, yeah. yeah, the big line coming out of the sun. Uh, you'd think solar flare or, uh, you know, a lens flare, but normally a lens flare, if you look at a lens flare near the attaching point of the, the source of the light, it will cone off and then make a, a nice f line that fades out. Hmm. And if you use a, um, uh, oh, I forgot what kind of lens, I just went blank. It's an, it, it's a, it's a special lens that you use that any kind of light source will create flares, but on both sides. This is only coming out of one side. So right there, hmm, makes me think. Then, moving along. Can't be a chemtrail? It, it could be a chemtrail that just happens to end in front of the sun at that certain point. That chemtrail or contrail? Well, yes, that also is um, another question. There's two different, you know, con or chem. I did, yeah, I would have said con if I meant con, chemtrail. Yeah, no, chemtrail, <laughs> yeah. Cause, yeah, so um, moving right along into the good... Sorry, that's my Fozzie the Bear routine that I do on my show normally. Fozzie. All right, <laughs> Fozzie Bear. Um, so here we have the sun, and we have this object right here. Is this one going in or out? Yeah. No. Right. So, it, yeah. Hold on, hold on. Rich is so speaking. Cool. we got to be quiet. Hold on, Rich is speaking. We can't hear it. Yeah. Oh, you can't hear it? No. You, you can see the video though, right? Yeah. That means that, uh, I wonder if the audience can't hear it. If we can't, probably not. Did you hit the, is there a share audio? Yeah, hold on, let me let me recheck, hold on. Reshare, get that one and make sure I share audio. Why did that start with? My camera, disable, enable. That is so weird. Oh, you're oh, echoing you're again. All right, how about, oops, now. Doors or something like that? Yeah, yeah there's one. I, I hear it. Okay. And he watches the sun every day. So what we have here are objects entering the sun. They kind of look like, they kind of look like the mouse pointer when you put a little oh, yeah. tracer on it. Coming out. <laughs> and objects leaving the sun. Okay, right there, that alone, Unless there is a major solar, you know, eruption, a CMA of that sort, 
you normally don't see the properties of the sun leaving this 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 set sphere around it except for like i said solar flares and you know cma storms and whatnot uh black spots but shooting objects out of the sun which look like a solid object and was were, were we sure to say that the size of this is almost the size if not maybe a little bit bigger than earth or something oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so so here we are. We're seeing um, planetary size. <laughs> I mean, it looks like a pin. No, a, a moon size. A moon size. Okay, yeah, I could yeah. go with a moon size. Um, and uh, shooting in in and out of this, and and carrying the material that you see that makes up the sun, the plasma, magma, and all that fun stuff that's too hot to touch, coming in and out. And in the episode, we talk about um, you know, what if this is a stargate? What if this is a you know a gas station for spacecraft? Um, because they have Mandalorian steel, so you know, they can fly right into the sun, no big deal. Um, and would that give explanation to the creation of the story of uh Icarus, where he flew too close to the sun? Right. Was that a story, like a wise tale, to say, don't ever consider ever going to this place? Because what is the one place in the galaxy that we can't go or haven't gone? Black the one, the one the, well, I mean, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. In our solar system, what planets have we not traveled to or sent something to? And, you know, the sun. I mean, we've sent, oh, actually, right. we, we sent yeah, satellites yeah. crashing into it, which I, because I had my name on there. They did like a put your name on this microchip and I'll go right into this run. <laughs> so I did it for chips and grins. But um, what if that is why the Egyptians and all them they really, really worship the sun because they knew Ra came from wherever through the power of the sun. And why would they call? Think about it now. Why would Dean Devlin? come up with the idea of the name Stargate when our sun is a star. Yeah, yeah, it, it is. And so you look at all of the ancient hieroglyphics, you see the big circle and stuff, and, and, and people have said, ah, that's a portal, that's a portal. What if it is the sun? And if we just, if we had that, that uh, uh, was it dark energy or negative energy that would allow us, no, 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 that, that's for time travel. We've done so many shows together, mm -hmm. um, but uh, some type of steel, like you know, I'm joking, but kind of yeah. serious too. The Mandalorian steel that can withstand a lightsaber, the heat of a lightsaber, um, and fly in and out of the sun. Oh my God, yeah, and I did mention this on the show too. Stargate SG One, where they're on the big spacecraft, the series, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Or the series. that craft needed uh, its 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 batteries were low because they there was nobody on the ship it was fully automated but after millennia it was drained and so they knew they had to fly into the sun and like just skim skim the tarmac you know and get that that absorption of solar energy and radiation and whatnot and then pull up what if that's what these little little critters are doing what if they're skimming the sun for its resources on a level way beyond us. That's, That's what, what I, I, I always assume. I mean, there's, I mean, there's, there's videos, videos going, going back, back decades, decades as, as, as far back, back, back as we've actually, actually had, had videos, videos that have been able to point at the, the camera. camera. You've, You've seen, seen what looks, looks like, like a craft, craft you know, either a metallic, metallic of some sort, having, having some, some energy, energy coming from the sun. sun. Looks like it's refueling. It's like you said, a cosmic gas station. Yeah. Yeah, weird, weird. Yeah, but oh my gosh. I mean, that's one gas station I wouldn't want to apply to. I know. They're, 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 going, they're going into, into it, it, man. And, and uh, do you think it's what it looks like? like? So, so do you, do you think it's they're they're using it as a a wormhole, a stargate? I think, I think it, it is. is. I because think it is. Yeah. And, and the second, you know, the, the question, because from what we've been d discovering and analyzing the past couple of weeks, being you know handed all these amazing unclassified documents. Um, learning that the the perfect black hole, the perfect wormhole or whatever, 
is not actually a flat disc opening space like we see on TV, like sliders or something, right? Yeah, it, yeah. The most perfect thing is like a sphere, like the like the Terminator and the and the police officer that you know, were sent yeah, back after him. Yeah, they yeah. were they were sent in a perfect sphere, and that would also, from what we we learned from our uh, unclassified <laughs> documents, that that sphere gives uh, strength to the what they call the throat of um, these wormholes. So what if the sun is one gigantic, humongous stargate and its power is so intense it creates that heat? And maybe all of our theories on how the sun really works is wrong. I don't know. I did just speculating. No, no that's, 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 that's not, not that's 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 speculation, speculation there. there. I mean, so you're, what, not, you're not just saying that. <laughs> no, it, it makes, makes sense. sense. Uh, I, mean, yeah. I think, I, I think I think the same, same thing. thing. Yeah. I think the sun, sun is. What is, what is the, the sun become when it dies? Black, black hole, right? Or am I wrong? I don't, I don't know, know if it's, it's a stargate, stargate as, as much as it's there, there is a stargate right next to it. How would we even know the difference? We wouldn't be able to see it. No. Yeah. Because you know they say don't look at the sun. Of course, it will cause damage. That's but I mean. uh, but when we do look in the sun through like welder's glass um, or through some special filters for solar astronomy, mm -hmm. um, we see lots of activity around the edges of the sun, you know, like, like what we're seeing here, as well as the moon. Um, just so much activity. I'm really, really hooked on this idea. I feel like I want to do some ancient egyptian we should get apollo apollo stare because she's been in egypt she studied a lot of that stuff um and learn more about son of you know ra the sun god let me ask you something though okay what if this guy isn't catching ufos and their airplanes because when i see the objects leaving we don't see enough footage before to see if that was a plane crossing in front of the sun not, I, I assumed it wasn't if he was literally filming for hours. That's mm -hmm. what he says. He could yeah, have cut it and let, just shown us what we need to see. But here's here, here's the thing. It, it's you're seeing this this uh, wake, this trail wake of what looks like sun mass being pulled with the object. Now, if it was just a plane flying by, you would just see the object go in. It would just you wouldn't have that that trail that tail of whatever it is you know coming in and going out um well that's what i'm saying it, it's an airplane with a contrail but you're saying when it hits it it, it gives like a splash type of effect well it, i mean if you put an object underwater and you pull it out it's like dragging the, the yeah. residual water that's what it looks like it's doing with this the sun in the background how do we know that's just not a contrail it, it, uh, it, well but I'm saying well, it, because it's it's because the contrail would keep going. This is only goes for like you know just a little bit away from the sun, and then it, it's gone. So well, that's when the that's when the video cuts off. I know, I know. I'm trying to think logically what makes sense in our in our real world here. No, no, I no. That's what we're supposed so, to do. So I'd like to see. Uh, I'm gonna have to look again to see if there's any like a long duration of just nothing, and then seeing the air, seeing the object go into it and come out. Or not come out, you know. Or not come out. Yeah, what we he's... need is the the person who filmed it to actually submit us more of unedited. That's what we need. I think yeah. the, the the cousins brothers have that. Hmm. Wow. Well, it's can we can we take a look real quick just to see if there is any footage that shows five seconds before something enters or leaves? Yeah. Let me let me go to the beginning. Okay, and then bring it in. There we go. So, so look, see, see, right right on, we don't see right out of it. it. That's right. It could have been goes in and the next thing. thing. Right, right, right. One, two, two, two seconds, seconds and another, another thing shows up. up. This, this one, one we, we don't see anything. Thing. So that's, so that's three, three in a row, row that's, that's part within, within two, two seconds. seconds. So that's not in time for me. I need Yeah, that can be edited. Yeah. Yep. I mean, yeah. After like videos, what we started to show off with, we just got it. We got we, we got to be adamant about that. Okay, okay that, that was, was five, five seconds. seconds. Okay, but did you see how it it looked like it was burning up? When yeah. It got the sun like a comet. 
So that's what I think. But then you see the one at the bottom coming out at the same time. So see, it's like you think Comet right there. That's not another airport. No. That's unbelievable to me. Yeah. But that is a that is a normal astronomical thing to see is, you know, debris falling in the sun and blowing up. It's being spit out of the sun nice. is just blowing my mind. That's but why it, it, Yeah, Boar, he just needs to give us the full 60 seconds at least for it to take to get across the sun to see what came in yeah. and if it came out or vice versa. That way we can make a more solid uh, uh, decision on, on what we think this is. Um, but it's also mm -hmm. fun doing this because we get to think way outside the box and sometimes go somewhere we never thought we'd be going. And right. 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 I, yeah, I like this too because we're not, uh, we don't have, yeah, we got more time. Um, so yeah, this is the close-ups of it. See, yeah, it looks like a, an ice comet. Yeah. yeah. But uh, but then it sounds like, no, nah, bad ice cube. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> um, and here's the here's the thing that on a on, on a humanity safety level, if the sun is spitting stuff out like this that look the size of moons or or small planets, and it's shooting in these directions, what's to say it won't shoot one directly at us like a BB gun? Oh, oh God. What is that? That's that's what the the of the dinosaur. Dinosaur. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. crazy. You know, well, let's uh, hope there there UFO UFO now, now see that, see that right there. Did you see that, Rich? Let me go back. I did, I did but uh, I, didn't I didn't look at anything. anything all, right, all right, hold on, hold on. I just as as it's coming out, it's like boom, liquid. Remember? Yeah. yeah. But now it's okay. Now no, it's, it's fine. fine. So there's no contrail or chemtrail. Yeah. yeah. It's still that's just a solid object. Uh, yeah. yeah. Good, 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 good job. job. That's, that's legit. legit. That's so crazy. crazy. What is it? I, I, I think it was crazy. Crazy. just so telling me, man. What is it? Don't touch the red button. Um, when, 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 when this, this first, first aired, aired I, said, I said, are we are looking, we looking at, at one thing, thing making, making three, three round, round trips, trips three, three different, different objects, objects making, making round, round trips, trip, or, or is it six, six distinct, distinct objects, objects, three, three going, going and three, three leaving. leaving? Right. Um, and is it is it is it mixed up? You know, coming in over here, coming out over there in the edit? Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I would rather see a full solid uh, period of time oh, wow. unedited. Um, they look like, like meteors. meteors. They do. It does. It look looks how like fat. But how, how could they, they see out of it? it? That, yeah. that, that, that but just are you noticing the speed that they are entering due to the gravity of the sun? But when they get it, they just, it's like, it's going in so fast. And you have to think that's the size of the smallest of the moon, if not mm -hmm. our size of our planet. Yeah. And that is hauling butt right into the fiery pits of the sun. If that turns out to be what it is. What if it's just a gigantic, you know, gas propane heat lamp? It could, <laughs> could be. be. You know, just, you know, a god-sized heat lamp. And, and then, then what do they, they go, go to hollow, hollow, hollow hot, hot inside, inside and come, come out, out the other end? end? I don't, I don't know, but swirl around, around in a whirlpool? whirlpool. I don't know, but you got a good tan. <laughs> One definitely, second. definitely get a good tan. Did we lose you, Dr. J? No, no I, I, I think that's what's killing me. me. All right, well, well, that was about it. I, that's what I wanted to talk about tonight. I appreciate you guys, you know, hanging out with me. Um, let me get back to... That is so, so crazy. crazy. I know, you can't watch it enough. And no, no, you can't. can't. Going in, I would, mm -hmm. I, I mean, immediately I say, comets, no big deal, ice fragments, whatever. But being spit out. Now, what if that has been the way the sun has always been? And we right, just right. haven't seen it till now. Yeah, yeah. Um, yes, but, but sucking water and putting water, water out. out. I mean, I, I could, could live with, with one, one of them. them. Like, like it's meteors, meteors in it, or, or it just ejects like a volcano. volcano. But, but both? both, right? And 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 simultaneously in the first shot, did, where did, one goes out and then the other one goes in. Do we know the guy with the duration? Um, it was from all all six six. Yeah, he talked about it. Uh, I don't think they. Let's see. Special report for you today in regards to UFOs possibly harnessing the energy of the end, I Videos have been making the rounds. Oh, and we received one from George Rabb just moments ago in regards to this. Now we have to thank also Blake, Blake and Brent, you know, edit the shows. 
so they may have cut out to save some time. Hey guys, I, I have to go, go to the bathroom. bathroom. Give me a couple All right. more minutes. Well, we're gonna be we're gonna be done. We're finishing up. So yeah. thank you very much, guys. All right. Um, Thanks. Appreciate you guys hanging out here on uh, Third Phase UFO Report. Check out Rich's show on Third Phase. Uh, do you have days set up or? Uh, uh, no, no, Third Phase no, 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 but but on every, every day, Sunday, Sunday 10, 10 a.m. Eastern, Eastern 7, 7 Pacific. Awesome. And Dr. J is on Dr. J Radio. You can check him out uh, all the time, all the time. Well, thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight. And uh, well, yeah, we'll do this again. This is fun. And. Oh, I remember what I was supposed to do. I have to do one more thing. I have to hit a certain special button. That way everything is hunky-dory. Until next time, good night, everybody. Oh, wait, I have to do this. <laughs> Where did it go? Yeah, nope, not that one, this one. Yeah, bye.